everyone, in this video I want to show you a new plugin which is called Math Solver and it is made like most of the plugins by the community and this one is uh, made by David and thanks so much for making this uh, first of all and um, I'll show you three use cases and then how you can install it and how you can uh, use it. So first of all here is an example with just adding up some arbitrarily numbers or arbitrary numbers. Uh, you need some code block like this, but I'll show you how you can create it later. And you see here, I have just some random numbers here. And you can add more as you wish, or you can change them in between. Um, this could be something you want to add up on a regular basis, or to like your uh, if you have different bank accounts, for example, or investments, or something like this. You can uh, you can list all the numbers from the different accounts, and they may change over time. So you want to recalculate them and uh, adjust them here. So this is just one example, or you just want to calculate some some uh, some numbers, anyways, or some prices or something. And then you so I have added these numbers here. And then at the bottom you write total and now you can click on calculate and it will show you the sum of the numbers above at the it will add this text here and you can click on clear to remove it and I show you what total uh, the totals button here does uh, in the next example okay uh, the next use case a little bit more complicated you want to calculate the time you need for something. For example, the time you need for uh, this specific day or for some task or project or so. So you can just add up also hours and minutes. So for example, review emails will take me one hour, prepare a tweet will take me 30 minutes and so on. At the bottom I'll again add total and then you can click on calculate and it'll show you the hours detected in the specific lines or you can clear this and then click on totals only and will only show you the total uh, sum of the hours here. So you can calculate how much time you will need for something, not just numbers. And now we go to the most complicated example. This is you want to calculate how much a project will cost with uh, price per hour and uh, prices for uh, the hours of uh, people uh, when they get to work on it. Uh, for example, price per hour is 20 multiplied by 5 and then on this date you have two people working on it, on that date you have three people working on it and then you want to know the subtotal for this for week 1 in this case and you have the same again for week 2 and then uh, want to get to know the... Uh, so you can also use these kind of variables in between and then uh, add up variables basically so let's just click on calculate and then you'll see here two people uh, working on this project will be 200, 300, the subtotal is 500, <coughs> subtotal for week 2 is 600, the total is 1100 and uh, some supplies you need to buy for something and then you just add up everything at the bottom. So this, the advantage of this is it things are a bit clearer how you got to the result in the end and you can adjust things in between or add things in between and so on. Um, so let me clear this. Okay, this was the last example. Uh, I'm sure you come up with more complicated use cases. And uh, I'll show you how to install this plugin. So again, thanks for David for creating this amazing plugin. We have more cool plugins uh, from also from other developers. But uh, And you can see them if you click on command comma to open the preferences. And then you click on plugins. You wait a, f a couple of seconds and then it will show you a list of all available plugins. And this specific one is called Math Solver. Solver. I have already downloaded it, so if you didn't install a plugin yet, you'll see a button uh, like download, like this one here, or update if there's an update available. And you can uh, expand the plugin and see uh, by whom it is made, in this case by David and uh, an explanation and all the commands you can use on this plugin. So for example in this specific one you need to start with or you can start with insert math block at cursor. So you go into your node after installing it then you press slash and you can just type insert math and it will already find uh, this command for you. You don't need to type it out completely. You um, press enter and it will create this code block for you. So you don't need to write this yourself. And you can just start uh, the, um, entering the numbers and then at the bottom the total and click on calculate and it works. 
So um, not so much uh, work to actually install this. And if you go back, so this is how you can install it. This is how you can use it. And there's also usually documentation for each plugin. You can click on more details and we'll open a website. I'll open it on my other screen. So here it is. And here you see uh, documentation how to use it. So uh, if this video is not enough for you and there are most probably some more details you need to pay attention to, you can see here is a small uh, video again and a uh, more detailed explan explanation how you can use this specific plugin. Okay, I hope this video was helpful and make sure to check out also all the other plugins. They're quite useful and yeah, see you next time.